Welcome to this session on parametric design using Grasshopper with BricsCAD BIM. In the first example, we are going to add a bus station to the left of our site along the entrance road of the building and experiment with the structural design of the bus station. From BricsCAD, you can launch Rhino and Grasshopper by going to the tab that was installed when you ran the Grasshopper BricsCAD connection installer. The BricsCAD panel inside Grasshopper consists of five panels, the input geometry panel, the BIM data panel, the building elements panel, the information panel, and the output panel. We will open the bus station script and as you can see this script is linked to the DWG model file such that upon its launch the geometry that is associated with the script is linked back. Here we have referenced an input curve in BricsCAD. You can also adjust parameters that are defined using these sliders and a certain nomenclature to them. By adjusting the input geometry and input curves, we can fully control our outcome. Here, we can now drag the slider and reduce the number of columns to 8 and increase them back to 12. Another input field in Grasshopper is the graph mapper. If we change the graph type from a linear graph to a parabolic graph, we can see that our bus station shape will follow the new graph. We can then change the form, make it more subtle. to look something like that and we should be able to settle with this form for now. Alright, looks good. Now let's zoom into the columns and the beam profiles. We have all the profiles from the profile library available in Grasshopper. And if we change the value from an IPE to a C, we can see how the geometry reacts and the profiles will change from an IPE to the C section. We can change it back to an IPE now. The profiles are completely made with customized components from the BricsCAD tab in the Grasshopper ribbon. So you can get the profile names and the profile sizes. We start off by defining a profile name first. That's here. So this is the profile name. And then we select the size 220 from it, which is the index 6. The size is then defined. These are the profile sizes and the indexing number 6 which gives us the 220 size for the model. After that, we link it up to get a real profile name and from this name, we can get all the information just like the curves that make up the profile. So here, we create the profile shape. Except for all the custom components that we have to make profiles, we also have some custom components to add BIM data to the script. We will do so over here in the adding BIM data. For example, 
we have the element type where you can select the classification type for your building element that you are about to bake. You can select from various classifications. So here we have used a BIM column for the verticals, BIM beam for the cantilevered beams and BIM roof for the roof of the bus station. And we have assigned building stories that are present in our model to these elements. We will select the three building elements and we will bake them. Baking in Grasshopper is the process of transforming the preview geometry into a real BricsCAD geometry. By shift clicking, we can select multiple building elements to bake them all at once and we can press this little bake icon right at the top here. So once the geometry is baked, we can select a baked element. For example, we'll select this column. We'll minimize the script and open the properties panel. If you would only want to bake the geometry and not the properties, you can also use the bake geometry component from the BricsCAD tab. Here you can find the classification the building story, the profile, and the column type, and the profile that was assigned. So all the BIM data was directly linked from Grasshopper to BricsCAD and vice versa. We can now go back to the script. And we will change the property of the column type from instead of steel column to T1. And when we just select again the column, you can see that the property has now changed from a steel column to T1. And hence, the same goes for the other columns as well. If you select the beam, you can see that the beam type is a steel cantilever. You can open grasshopper and change the steel cantilever for steel beam. By reselecting the beam, the changes have been applied. And the beam type is now changed to steel beam. It is thus very easy to fill in all the properties that you would like using this approach. And you can also further model using the native direct modeling technique in BricsCAD. You can use the push-pull command, for example, on the surface of the beam. And you can change its length and the changes will be applied. This gives you the power to combine computational BIM with direct modeling and makes design fun. Now let's close Grasshopper. All right, so this is our design for the bus station. What we're missing here is some detail to our connections. To add connections, I'm going to hide the roof temporarily. You can further use propagate to develop the connection and the detail can be applied. We can open the details panel on the right and we have already created a bolted connection that can be applied to the IPE profiles between a column 
and two cantilevered beams. We can drag and drop the connection detail into the model space. Propagate in the background will then suggest locations where this detail is suitable and applicable. You are prompted to accept or reject the suggestions. You can even reject a suggestion or accept it. In this step, the view zooms out showing all the possible suggestions. Each suggestion is a location where this detail could be applied and is indicated by the widget that you see on the screen. The green widget and the red widget which allows you to reject the suggestion. We will now accept all the suggestions and hit apply. The detail will be automatically applied to all the connections for our bus stop. Hence, completing the design of our bus stop. We will now move to the next part of the session. So far, we have seen the generic parametric design workflow with the grasshopper connection in BrickCAD. The parametric design workflow in the bus stop example is powerful but you must be an expert in visual programming to really enjoy its benefits. We wanted to give this power to all the users. So in V22, we enhanced this integration by introducing Grasshopper-based components. Algorithms that are made by a parametric design expert or even your BIM manager can be saved into files and any designer in your firm can simply load and apply the script to any selected geometry. Let's look at this in action now. As you can see here in the project browser, the project browser is not only to home for the views and the sheets, but you can also store grasshopper scripts over there and apply them to their designated elements by simply attaching the grasshopper data. In this example, we are applying various design patterns to simple wall elements that turn them into a curtain wall. We will open our building elements tab. To apply these scripts, we will select a set of walls. I have already created three sets under the BIM type curtain walls named type one, which defines a set of particular walls, type two and type three. First, we will select type one and we will apply the script by going to the project browser. We'll apply the script curtain wall without fins and top band curtain wall without fins and top band, right click and attach grasshopper data. The curtain wall design information will then be matched to the wall size and your design will be created. Secondly, we will select the type two by going to our structure browser, building elements, curtain wall and select type two walls. To the type 2 walls, we shall apply the script curtain wall with fins and attach the grasshopper data. And you can see that curtain walls with fins has been applied. We are doing so in this zone because the angle of the sun and to minimize the heat gain on the facade for more user comfort inside the building. Then we will select type 3. You can select type 3 and apply curtain wall without fins. 
we can apply the script curtain wall without fins attach grasshopper data here we go as you can observe this script also applied the curtain wall pattern to a single curved wall geometry below on the ground floor so it's a single curved wall here at the ground floor we will now zoom into this curved wall and select it we can switch on the properties panel a tab with the grasshopper script parameters can be used to modify the design a tab has been created over here so these are the parameters that were created inside the script are available for editing inside the BrickSCAD modeling environment. You can switch on the properties as well and you can switch off the grasshopper visibility. Switch it on and switch it off. If you would not like to apply it for a specific element, you can switch it off for that specific geometry. We shall change the approx spacing from 3000 to 1500 mm and you can see the changes getting applied. Great! Our curtain wall designs have been applied on the required walls that we need them to be. We can now bake these geometries to convert them to native BrickSCAD BIM types or elements. We can select all the curtain walls by going to the Building Elements tab in the Structure Browser. We can select all the 29 number of these curtain walls. And hit the Bake button on the Grasshopper tab. You will be prompted by BrickSCAD to select a layer to which the baked geometry will be assigned to. Select a material and a color. For simplicity's sake, we will choose the layer 0 for all objects. Since the BIM data anyways will classify the geometry individually, which can be observed on the left panel over here. We will give BrickSCAD few seconds to process the information. Nice. As you can see, new BIM types such as window, covering, member have been created in our structure browser. So the classification has been automatically done when we baked from Grasshopper to BrickSCAD. As you see, new BIM types and geometries that have been created in the structure browser can now be used to select these various members. We can select one of the fins. Let's select one of the fins. and open the properties panel we can check out the BIM type which has been mentioned as a member the building the floor floor 4 similarly this member has been assigned to floor 3 so there was an automatic classification of levels and floors and members and the IFC properties can also be seen below over here. We can also select all the window elements all once at once. The original geometry, I would like to hide it, which will still be available for us to refer for referencing in the future. So let's hide the original geometry which defined the curtain wall.
we can select the window glass elements at once and apply a specific composition or a material from our library such as glass green similarly we can select the coverings which are basically our cladding panels and spandrel panels and we will apply brushed metal as a material to these panels now our facade is complete as you have seen the grasshopper components opens new doors for firms who want to embrace parametric design in a larger scale and grasshopper based components now makes it accessible to anyone in your teams we hope you have gained a good understanding of the grasshopper connection in BricsCAD and how it can enable you to implement parametric design in your architectural design and structural design workflows.